Kapil Bharatiya and today we have Suzy from Holburton School. I mean, I have been actually covering Holburton School before it was kind of kind of founded. I mm -hmm. wrote a story for Linux.com oh, cool. and I do Sylvan. Yeah, so I've been, you know, kind of tracking the school since those early days. Uh, so I do know a lot about what's go, go, going on mm -hmm. at the school, but I think you come from a totally different capacity. You know, a lot of things that you are doing is different from what I've talked about so far. So, so tell us you know, a bit about what do you do at Holburton School? Yeah, so my position at Holburton School uh, revolves around social media marketing and the community management aspect of things. Um, so that's anything from managing the social media accounts like the Twitter, the Facebook, the Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, and then onboarding mentors so that they can help our students. Holborn is a school. Why do you need social media presence there? So social media obviously is super pervasive. Uh, it's anywhere and everywhere right now. Um, so we find that we get a lot of traction on Twitter, um, a lot of interaction with people that may have questions about Holburton. Mm -hmm. um, I find that it's a very quick uh, and efficient response rate. So if somebody tweets at me, I find that it's super easy to go back and tweet at them. Okay, so it's more or less like your uh, your front desk, you know, or you know, support. Exactly. 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 Uh, so what, what 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 is your social media strategy in general? Oh, my social media strategy is genuinely to be very personable. Um, if you look at my, uh, you know, personal Instagram or my personal Twitter and you compare it to that of Holburton's, um, you'd see a similar vibe. Um, I don't think that people want that corporate type of feel when they're interacting with a brand's social media. They want it to feel personable and they want it to feel like, uh, you know, a genuine interaction. Um, so that's really what I strive for in all of my tweets and things like that. So when you go and have some nice drink, you post on Holbert in school also, hey, we're just having good fun. Yeah, having fun. Uh, you know, people want to know that it's like a real environment, right? Mm -hmm. Especially because it's that college alternative. So, you know, regular campuses have things like, um, you know, outings and parties and, uh, you know, clubs, things like that. So when we do stuff like picnics with the students or whatever, we want to show that Holbert in personality. And what are you doing at DockerCon? Doing it at DockerCon. Um, so really just being a champion for the students and then the whole Burton mission. Um, so it's, we're actually super proud. Uh, this year we have three people from, from, you know, that were past students that are speaking at DockerCon. Um, so one was on a women at DockerCon, or DockerCon panel. Uh, another did a lightning talk on containerizing StarCraft. And then uh, another one helped lead the, the keynote. Um, so we're super proud of that presence and we just want to bolster that. Because Holburton also has some mentorship that come from the industry. So do you have any relationship with Docker in general? Yeah. Um, so personally, my relationship with Docker, I, I am actually a former Docker employee. Okay. So it makes things a little easier that way. Um, but yes, we have quite a few mentors that are coming from Docker. We've also had students that were hired by Docker. So we do have this uh, you know, corporate relationship, this corporate partnership. Um, they believe in our mission and it's very cyclical in that way. Yeah, because uh, Docker kind of, you know, uh, it's disrupted the whole, you know, industry. And mm -hmm. Holburton is also kind of trying to do the same thing with education, which is kind of, if you look, compare, you know, we are stuck in a monolith legacy educational system. Yep. And Holburton is more like a job. Yeah, we're shaking it up. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, uh, when, you, when you do interact with all these, you know, people from Docker or, you know, you also come across people who have been here for like 30, 40, or 50 years, more than that. <clears throat> so what kind of feedback you get, not from you know, the top tier Docker people you know, who support Holburton, mm -hmm. but you know, from in general developers or green heart developers, or even the legacy people, yeah. uh, when they look at this model? Yeah, um, generally the reaction that I've been getting when I'm you know, meeting people and shaking hands in the expo hall and all that good stuff is, um, you know, you give the, the 30 second pitch and you tell them what Holburton is um, and they say, wow, you know, that's usually the, the response I get. And then I try to gauge it. Hey, wow, what? Um, and they're amazed at the talent that we're producing. So, you know, when when I tell them, like, the proof is in the pudding and our students are being hired at these big name companies, um, you know, they, they know it's the real deal. You know, these companies aren't going to stick their neck out and hire somebody that's that's not well qualified. Um, so yeah, like I said, the proof is in the pudding, uh, and it seems that uh, our engineers that we're producing are being very, very well received. You, you said that uh, you know the thirty-second pitch. So uh, when you meet people, how many people already know about Holberton? Will say, "Oh, I didn't know that." So what is the? Yeah. Um, so the tricky thing about Holberton is, um, you know, while boot camps are, are a great resource, um, we're just a little bit different than a boot camp, mm -hmm. you know. 
Um, so, you know, there are there are a faction of people that, that kind of group Holbert in in that group, which, you know, boot camps and, and all of us, we're all striving for that same goal of pushing out quality engineers. Mm -hmm. um, but but typically I find that it's a good split. It's a good mix of people that are that are discovering it for the first time uh, and a good mix of people that are like, oh, I, re I just recently read about you or, you know, something like that. There's recently been lots of buzz. Mm -hmm. uh, so so I, I generally get a, a, a good mixed bag of that. And I, I have also noticed that uh, Holberton also has a lot of celebrities yeah. as part of, uh, uh, is it board or, or advisory board? Yeah, or? advisory board, uh, yeah. Why? Why celebrities? Um, they're really in this position to, you know, to amplify our message, right? And we find that if we, we have these celebrities that, that maybe some of our potential students could identify with, um, you know, then that's, that's a powerful message. That's a powerful way to convey that message. Um, because I can talk to, you know, my friends till I'm blue in the face, but, you know, uh, maybe a different community or a different subset of people, um, maybe if they don't identify with me personally, it might be hard to convey that message. Um, so that's why we, you know, we welcome these people into the whole Burton family. Uh, and they're aligned with our mission. Uh, so it's really just to amplify that message. Let's talk about you for a while. Okay. okay. So, so, so what do you do in your free time if you have any free time? Oh, my free time. Yeah. Far and few between. No, I'm joking. But um, I love concerts. Live music is my favorite thing to do. It's what I spend the most amount of money on. So you at. organize concerts? Oh, no, I, no, 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 not my deal. Not my deal. I organize enough events at work. Um, no, I love to go to live concerts um, and I love to hike. I love to camp. That type of stuff is, is my deal. Yeah. So thanks for being here. Thank you so much. And, I appreciate uh, it. Thanks for talking to me today yeah, pleasure. and hopefully Thank you so we'll, much. we'll catch up with you again in the future open source event and just uh, uh, continue this conversation because by that time maybe you will have more celebrities, you will have more, you know. You never know. You never know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much.